Okay, so in this video today, I'm gonna to show you a simple secret, a simple tip to increase the potency of psychedelic mushrooms while also making it easier on your gut, reducing the overall nausea profile. Uh, this technique is something that's been used for decades in the psychedelic underground and it is, it's just starting to come to the surface as psilocybin mushrooms become more popular. And it's a technique called lemon teching with two Ks, teching, T-E-K-K-I-N-G. And of course the not so secret ingredient in lemon teching is lemon juice. So teching or tech is an underground jargon for the process or the recipe. That means lemon teching mushrooms is basically soaking or cooking your mushrooms in lemon juice. However, before we look at how it works, quick reminder to subscribe to our channel, Third Wave's channel, so you can stay up to date on all of our psychedelic content that's coming out. So the cellular walls of mushrooms are made of something called chitin, that's C-H-I-T-I-N. Chitin is known to be very hard to digest. And so when you eat mushrooms, the psilocybin can often get trapped in undigested parts of the stomach. And so it kind of creates this really uncomfortable feeling in the gut. And so what citric acid does, and citric acid is in the lemon juice, citric acid helps to break down the cellular walls of the mushrooms to make it much easier for your gut to digest and process it. And so when that happens, you also get more of the active compounds from the mushroom, meaning more psilocybin uh, is, is let go of, and that means that you get to have a stronger trip. So what's the experience then when you're working with lemon teching? The psilocybin comes on faster, the trip is more intense, so you're almost like whoosh, and then you come down. It's easier on your digestive system, there's less nausea and discomfort, and the trip doesn't take quite as long because the psychedelic takes effect quick, let's say 15 to 45 minutes, and it lasts about six hours in total with the teching. If you're not teching, it usually takes 30 to 90 minutes to hit, and the trip can last for up to eight hours. Because of the intensity that comes with lemon teching, this is actually better for those who are quite experienced with psilocybin mushrooms. It's not ideal for microdosing. This is really just for journey doses, for medium to high doses. Uh, and in fact, quick story, when I was starting uh, this retreat center in the Netherlands called Synthesis, that was how we introduced uh, the psilocybin truffles to the retreat goers, is we were actually doing lemon teching largely because of the nausea element. A lot of people really struggle with nausea when it comes to psilocybin, and so lemon teching, especially in a retreat format, when you have a lot of people who are doing medicine together, that lemon teching can be a really great way to ensure that the experience is quite smooth for everyone. So lemon teching is really good for medium to high doses, and this video explains the difference between microdosing and macrodosing. Just so you can, if you wanna go deeper into that, you can do that. Okay, so uh, now that we've talked about lemon teching, if you want some free content on guidelines on how to prepare for a high dose experience, if you're really interested in doing lemon teching, then we have linked out to a guide that will help you prepare for a macrodose experience. And that guide, make sure you read through that if you wanna go through with the journey because it's gonna give you some of the basic structure and know-how. So as part of this, just to give a brief overview, first, it's important to know how strong your medicine is, the medicine that you're working with, as well as your own limits with psilocybin. Have you done this before? How much have you done it? Do you have a guide, a sitter, a therapist who's there with you? If you do want a lemon tech, take a lower dose than normal. We have this expression, start low and go slow. You can always take more. You can't necessarily take less. And so here are some more tactical instructions for you. With psilocybin mushrooms, take about half of your usual dose. Have one to two lemons that have a good amount of fresh lemon juice, a cannabis or coffee grinder that you can use, a cheesecloth or a coffee filter that you can use, and then some sort of shot glass or cocktail shaker. And once you've collected all of those items, then follow these next steps. So first you're gonna grind the mushrooms into a fine powder, then carefully pour that into the shot glass or cocktail shaker. You'll then squeeze the lemon or other citrus juice over the powder until it's completely 
covered. At that point, you'll let the mushroom powder and lemon juice concoction sit for about 15 or 20 minutes. Every now and then just stir it or shake it to make sure that the energy is moving. And then if you wanna use that cheesecloth or coffee filter, you can strain it to remove bits of dried mushroom material and squeeze out all of the juice through a cheesecloth or coffee filter. Again, this step may help to reduce the nausea so none of that psilocybin is getting into your uh, body. You can then drink the concoction as a shot. Now as a note, you can also use lime juice if you want. If you don't have lemons and you just have limes, it has about the same pH as lemon juice. However, oranges and pineapple juice does not work. So only lime juice or lemon juice. Finally, if you are making a mushroom tea, uh, you can also add some lemon juice to the mushroom tea uh, as that will help with the absorption and the potency and the nausea as well. Okay, final note. If you want a reliable supply of high quality psilocybin mushrooms, you can be sure that you can always do the lemon tucking. Make sure to check out our mushroom grow kit through Third Wave. It comes with everything pre-sterilized and that takes a lot of risk of contamination in particular out of the equation because contamination is usually the thing that destroys grows. And so we created this grow kit to minimize contamination, to make it as simple and easy as possible for you to grow your own mushrooms. Thanks for watching this video and best of luck with the lemon teching methodology. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna stay up to date on the third wave of psychedelics, subscribe to this channel and visit the thethirdwave.co where you'll find plenty of free resources on intentional and responsible psychedelic use.